Hello everyone. Happy New Year and welcome to another edition of Midweek Minutes. This past Sunday was the first Sunday of the new year and we started off with a wonderful message entitled Living Hope. Our passage was Luke chapter 2 verses 28 to 35 where we got a peek into this devout man who was eagerly hoping to see the Messiah and his desire came true. I want to read to you verses 25 to 30 which gives us a little background on who Simeon was. It reads, at that time there was a man in Jerusalem named Simeon. He was righteous and devout and was eagerly waiting for the Messiah to come and rescue Israel. The Holy Spirit was upon him and he had revealed to him that he would not die until he had seen the Lord's Messiah. That day the Spirit led him to the temple. So when Mary and Joseph came to present the baby Jesus to the Lord as the law required, Simeon was there. He took the child in his arms and praised God saying, Sovereign Lord, now let your servant die in peace as you have promised. I have seen your salvation. You know, Christmas time and New Year's is a wonderful time for us to just reflect and look forward to all the promises and all the hope that we have in Jesus. And we had family in town and they've gone back to their various places. And my wife and I were just reflecting on how great the time was, but it's nice to have our house back um, to ourselves in a way. And although we've created so many fond memories that we can look back on, I think I was most excited during the anticipation phase when I was looking forward to them coming and spending the holidays with us. You know, we can take a clue from that as believers. As much as God has done for us, we have so much more to look forward to. We had a point from Sunday that says, because Jesus came, our future will be greater than our past. And you know, we're back to normal mostly. Our kids are still out of school though. They have this whole week um, before they return back to school. And in my opinion, I like the anticipation of Christmas coming. And I would have preferred if they had a week prior to Christmas break off so that they could really just enjoy all that anticipation and what they had in store. Now it's kind of like an afterthought and they're kind of um, in limbo. And so, you know, the point is when we grab hold of the anticipation, the hope that we have, it really fills us with joy. It really fills us with an excitement that can help us in our daily struggles to push through because we know that there's something greater coming. There is a living hope. So I encourage you, as we start this new year off, going back to journey groups, returning to work, getting back into our routine, let us not lose that anticipation. Let's be eagerly awaiting like Simeon, the Lord's return, because he did come, but he's coming again. And then we will get to see him as he is and really experience and receive all the hope that God has in store for us. Thank you for joining me for another edition of Midweek Minutes. I hope to see you again next week. And again, Happy New Year. Bye-bye for now.